Okay, so we're gonna talk about pricing. We're at about one and a half months of inventory. All that means is that if nothing were to sell or if nothing were to hit the market from here on out, it would take about one and a half months for all the inventory to get gobbled up. That inventory creates pressure. If I have 30 people and there's only one home, you can just about guarantee that home's gonna sell for a little bit more. Currently in this market, I'm communicating to my buyers that, hey, whatever your budget is, whatever you're really comfortable spending a month, right? You talk to your lender about that and figure out, okay, this is what I wanna spend monthly. That equates to this much as a single family house or this much as a condo with this much maintenance fee. Now I'm telling my buyers, be prepared that whatever your budget is, you should be shopping about 10% below that and being prepared to pay about 5% above that. An asking price from a seller or homeowner is just that. It's just an asking price. I could have a home that's valued at about 500,000, but I can ask for a million dollars. Let's say a property's true market value is about 500,000, and they list it, let's say for 480,000, but the market already knows. All the comps have been selling at about 500. In that particular situation, you can certainly expect to pay more than the asking price, right? It's not really worth 480, it's worth five. And because they lifted it low and they staged it and it smells good and the photography looks great, more people have shown up. So maybe it sells at 510 or 520. Again, it's all for the buyers to determine what that value is. But let's say the seller's a little greedy, wants to get that extra money. The market sees it and says, this guy's crazy. None of those homes are selling for that much. And they don't respond. They don't even want to submit an offer because they feel this guy is being unreasonable. The market knows the value of the home because they are typically represented by agents and those realtors can show them what's happening in the market and they can typically see for themselves, wow, oh, this thing is really overpriced. I always say if you want to get a really good deal in the market, look for the ones that aren't showing that great, that don't have the best lighting. I love, love when sellers overprice the home when I'm representing a buyer. They scared off my competition. And when I go to submit an offer, guess what I have now is buyer, has leverage. So it's really interesting when you think about purchasing a property and all the different options that it gives you. So extremely important to know those things beforehand. That's my advice, is get the clear picture beforehand. Get as much information as you can beforehand to determine what's best for you. As far as pricing and everything goes, that can vary. It all depends. Depends on the seller, depends on the owner, how they present themselves. Finally, if you're a resident of Oahu, I want to let you know that you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at The Oahuist or check out our website at theoahuist.com.